the St. Bernadette's Missionary Discipleship Family. Today we celebrate the Ascension of the Lord. This weekend's second collection is for a Catholic Communication Campaign. We ask that you please sign at your phone and prepare your heart to celebrate the sacred liberty. When we celebrate the Ascension of the Lord, we recognize that as Christ is seated in glory at the Father's right hand, so too all men and women share in this world. Our celebrant this evening is our master, Father Morphine. Please stand. So we are here in this Holy Eucharist, not to forget that the only message of Christ's love and His Spirit can really bring people closer to the balance of mutual respect, solidarity, and dedication to promote justice and peace. And so as we celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us all acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon us. I confess to my Jesus.
let us pray. God our Father, may we follow the name of Jesus into the new creation that we who believe that your only begotten Son, our Redeemer, ascended this day to the heavens. May the Spirit dwell already in heavenly realms. But let's reign the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us offer this pause for the souls of John Garcia, Pete Scoffles, Joel Ventura, for the healing of Mernani Medinil, Marcus Santos Carlos, Zinaya Lugunis, Priscilla Aldo, for the gift of life of Valentin Tumaca, and the thanksgiving of Jasmine Ornelas, as well as for the soul of Rachel Balatsa. A reading from the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the Apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John the Baptist did water and in a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? And he answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky, as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood be beside him. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way that you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, my God. 
The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but they loved him. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Our opening prayer tells us, God our Father, may we follow Him, may we follow Jesus into the new creation. So on and so forth. But that's statement. So by this physical ascension, Jesus expresses passage beyond time and space into eternity. To dwell with the Father and share His glory. Now, what does the ascension of Jesus mean to us? Since today we celebrate the solemnity of the Lord's ascension, what does it mean to us? The ascension of Jesus, the physical departure of Jesus, is the prelude to. Pentecost. As Jesus said in the Last Supper in the other Gospel, the Gospel of John, chapter 16 to 7, it is better, for if I do not go, the advocate, advocate means the Holy Spirit, will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Now, when we look back at the first reading, Today's first reading, Jesus tells his disciples to be his witnesses to the ends of the world, to the ends of the earth. And that is what the first reading is telling us. Gospel, he tells them, he tells the disciples, the apostles, to be his teachers to the world. It is as if Jesus was telling them. His apostles, oh, you have been with me all these years. You have seen how I lived my life. You have seen how I carried out my mission. Now, it is your turn to continue the mission. Jesus is giving them whatever mission or whatever the responsibility that Jesus did here on earth, that the apostles will be the one to continue. That's why Jesus said, made in the first city to be as the witnesses to the ends of the world. So the feast of the ascension might be compared to the past of the like a victim in our lay race. You know, on this day over 2,000 years ago, Jesus passed that veil of responsibility for the kingdom of God. He passed it to his followers, or what we mean, the apostles. And Jesus commissioned them to complete the work he had begun. So, in conclusion, what does it mean? How do you carry you and I? How do you carry out Jesus' commission to be his witnesses to the world and to be? His teachers in the nations, and Jesus tells us clearly in today's gospel. He said, Go therefore 
and made disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And there are many ways to do this. As there are Christians, how do we do this? There are many ways of carrying out the commission of Jesus. So commission it means, I am giving you now this responsibility. It's yours. Just like the different ministries of the church. After you have been trained, after you know already some of the aspects of the church, it's the time to have a commission. Now it's your duty. It's your responsibility now to continue what the church is, that is teaching. But the church is telling you. That's why I don't know if you observe or I don't know if you're in St. Bernadette, but after the training, after all, there is the so called commission. Like the blessing, the praying of the commission. We commission the lectors, the Eucharistic ministers, the ushers, all of those who are serving in this community. And this is what the Lord, when He said, Go and make disciples. You are now the witness of the world, you are now the witness of the church. You have to proclaim the goodness of salvation. That's why. It's a commission. And so, what do we commission this? You know, it is to become witnesses. It is to become a teacher in the homes, not only in the church. Because you are just commissioned in the church. No. Wherever you go, you have to apply. In your workplace, in the community where you belong, in the different ministries, in the schools, even maybe in politics and business. Wherever you are, we simply make an effort to be kind, to become the kind of persons the Holy Spirit inspires us to be. So, my dear sisters and brothers, we witness to Jesus and teach others by our love. When others leave us, we witness to Jesus and to others by our patience when others annoy us by our forgiveness when others wrong us we witness to Jesus and teach others by our fidelity husband and wife by your fidelity to the spouse and to your family when they are you are a witness to be We witness to Jesus and to teach others by our concern for public and community interest. When others behave or are guided by I and mine before others mentality. Like what we do in our ministry. We witness to Jesus and teach others. By all of these things, especially by our perseverance, when we feel sometimes like we do. Oh, I don't want to think because there are many people here in the church do this and do that, and I don't feel good about it. We witness to Jesus to persevere. When you feel like me, mothers, sisters, and brothers, our lives and actions is still more eloquent than our lips do. When it comes to witness and teaching, people would rather see a sermon than listen to one. So, mothers, sisters, and brothers, the message of the ascension is a simple one. Jesus invites us to take from his hand the bait of him. He received from his father, that's coming from his father, and to continue the work.
that his father gave him to do on earth. From the father, Jesus accepted it. Now, Jesus is about Jesus is about to go, and he is giving that that to all of us. It is a witness to Jesus and teaching other people about him. Wherever we find ourselves, and in whatever manner the Holy Spirit inspires us to use. In summary, witnessing to Jesus and teaching others about him is simply sharing with them our own faith. Sharing with them our own love. It is sharing with them the one treasure we have to share. This is what ascension is all about. It is simply taking seriously Jesus' invitation to be his witness to the world and his teacher to the nations. Remember, at the end of the gospel, Jesus assures us, when we receive it, that responsibility, what is the assurance of Jesus at the end of the gospel? And that's why I said, a reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. It is the conclusion of the Gospel according to Matthew. And in the conclusion, the assurance of Jesus is, when we receive and we take that responsibility, Jesus said, And behold, I am with your grace until the end of the age. Amen. Please rise and let us confess our truth. I believe in one God, the Father of God. Thank you. 
pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For missionaries who spread the gospel around the world, may they be safe in their travels, and may their joyful witness of the gospel bring new hearts and voices to the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who are receiving the Eucharist for the first time today, that their hunger for Christ never wanes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those family and friends that have gone before us, especially John Garcia, Ian Campos, and Joel Ventura, for whom this Mass is offered, may they rest in the peace of the Lord. And for Sonia, Nicholas, Ellen, and Gabriel, and the Lord, Priscilla, Alvaro, and Marty Santos, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God who sends us among the nations, be attentive to your servants this day. Give us the strength to love you and love others in both world and evil, that your name may be known the world over. Hear us and answer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, forever and ever. Don't forget our sister, Georgie, and our Catholic communication campaign.
pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that by sacrifice and words may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Amen. We offer sacrifice now and supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant me pray that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. The Lord gave you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is sooner right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gaze in wonder. The Creator between God and man. Judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended, not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following, where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with pastor joy, ever beloved, every people exalt in your grace, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together that any hymn of your glory. Must be a play. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chops and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chance of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of the sins. Do this. In memory of me. The mystery of faith. Born 
resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give it thanks that you have done us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. How may we pray that by taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church to spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Martin, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, both voluntarily in the hope of the resurrection. And all of God in your mercy, especially John Percy, Pete Campos, Joel Ventura, Rochelle Matsar, and welcome them into the life of your faith. Have mercy on us all, be pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph and Spots, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Bernadette, Saint Magdalene of Canossa, and Saint Joseph of Bacchina, and all the saints who have finished in the of the ages, we may never be able to live eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, O my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and glory shows forever and ever.
Let us pray. Almighty and very dear God, who allow those who pray to celebrate divine mysteries, grant me pray that Christian hope may draw us apart to where our nature is united with you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, protect us in the name of Okay, so 
and God are done. Let's well done. And we appreciate so much our very own Mary. Her name is Mary. On us one day, what if you will become a person? All of you will become a person of the land. So, you know, <laughs> little medical, you will come. Who are those people? But thank you so much for all your help, for all your support. Very much thank you for all your service. I know that you serve God when you serve really from the Lord, from your heart. When you serve the Lord, there is so much joy in that. Okay, so I hope all of you, as the Gospel said, to be a witness and in this way. We become a witness, not only here in our church, but wherever you are. You are a witness. Thank you. Please rise for our final message. The Lord be with you. Bow your hands and pray for God's blessing. And let your response be. Amen. May Almighty God bless you for on this very day. His only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend to where He is now and forever. May He grant that as Christ after His resurrection was in place by His disciples, so when He comes as judge, He may show Himself merciful to you for all eternity, now and forever. And may you who believe He is seated with the Father in His majesty. No enjoy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time, now and forever. <laughs> and the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mass has been over. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a blessed night, all of you.